Driver, known as Driver, You Are the Wheelman in North America, is an action driving video game developed by Reflections Interactive and published by GT Interactive Software for the PlayStation. It was released in Europe on the 25th of June 1999 and in North America on the 30th of June. It is the first game in the Driver series. Initially, the game was released only for the PlayStation, but later, a Microsoft Windows port of the original PlayStation version was released in North America on the 11th of October 1999, and in Europe later on. In May 2000, a remake developed by Crawfish Interactive and published by Infogrames was released for the Game Boy Color. This version featured a top-down view, and fewer missions. A Mac port was released in North America in December 2000. The game was re-released on the PlayStation Network on 14 October 2008, and a remake developed and published by Gameloft, with enhanced voice acting and graphics, was released for iOS on 8 December 2009. <laughs> Gameplay The game is played out in four cities, Miami, San Francisco, Los Angeles, and New York, each of which remain only partially faithful to the actual city layouts. The game was notable at the time of its original release insofar as the player was able to explore each city as an open-world environment. <laughs> Plot NYPD officer and former racing driver John Tanner is sent undercover by his boss Lieutenant McKenzie to discover the intentions of a crime syndicate led by Costaldi. McKenzie instructs Tanner to go to Miami and meet a pimp named Rufus. After arriving in Miami, Tanner uses his driving skills to prove himself to some gangsters in a parking garage, allowing him to become their getaway driver. Tanner carries out jobs for various gangsters before meeting Rufus, who tasks Tanner with rescuing Jean-Paul, one of Rufus's associates. Rufus is later shot by his girlfriend Jessie. Needing more information for his investigation, Tanner apprehends Jessie and takes her to the police station, where she reveals that Jean-Paul is now in San Francisco. Tanner goes to San Francisco, where he meets Costaldi, Jean Paul's boss, and begins working directly for him. He also meets Rusty Slater, his former racing rival, who also works for Costaldi. Tanner later learns that Costaldi is working with a man named Don Hancock, who is running for president. He later suspects that Slater has been spying on him and wrecks Slater's car during a road chase, resulting in Slater being arrested. The Costaldi family move to Los Angeles, where Costaldi plans to assassinate FBI agent Bill Maddox as part of Costaldi's plan to carry out a more high-profile assassination in New York. Tanner tells Leck, a police associate, to ensure Maddox turns up, otherwise Tanner's cover may be affected. The assassination on Maddox is successful, but the police ambush the gangsters, forcing Tanner to take them to safety. Tanner convinces the suspicious gangsters that Slater likely told the police about the planned assassination while under interrogation. Leck later tells Tanner that Mackenzie recently met Marcus Vaughn, a corrupt FBI agent who is working with Costaldi and Hancock. The Costaldi family then move to New York, the location of the planned high-profile assassination. Tanner is told by his police associates that McKenzie wants him to pull out of the undercover operation, as he is worried that Tanner's cover will not hold up much longer, and Leck tells Tanner that Hancock has bribed several members of the FBI. Tanner remains undercover and continues working for Costaldi, intent on discovering what he is planning. Tanner eventually learns that Costaldi plans to assassinate the President of the United States, and Tanner is tasked with driving the President's car. However, he ignores all instructions and takes the president to safety. Mackenzie then arrives and tells Tanner that Costaldi and all of his associates, including Hancock and Vaughn, have been arrested. He then tells Tanner to take his badge back, but Tanner refuses, suspecting that the police and FBI are involved in the job, corrupted by bribes due to Vaughn's involvement. Tanner leaves, ignoring Mackenzie completely. iPhone, iPod Touch In 2009, a remastered version of the game was released on the App Store. Developed and published by Gameloft, the original plot and structure were left intact, but the graphics were enhanced, the music was redone, and voice acting was re-recorded for the cutscenes. Topic. 
Topic: Reception. In the German market, Driver's PlayStation version received a gold Award from the Verband der Unterhaltung Software Deutschland VUD by the end of July 1999, indicating sales of at least 100,000 units across Germany, Austria and Switzerland. The committee raised it to platinum status 200,000 sales by the end of September. In the United States, Driver's Jewel Case version for computers sold 390,000 copies and earned $3.8 million by August 2006, after its release in October 2000. It was the country's 42nd best-selling computer game between January 2000 and August 2006. Upon its initial release, Driver was met with very positive feedback and critical acclaim. The PlayStation and iOS versions received favorable. Reviews according to video game review aggregator Metacritic, IGN's Douglas C. Perry said of the original PlayStation game, In the history of driving games for PlayStation, there is nothing that comes close to the comprehensive, deep, and thoroughly pleasurable experience that's embedded deep in the heart of Driver. It fulfills driving enthusiasts' deepest desires to drive as fast as possible through major U.S. cities and to slam into just about anything without any repercussions. In that sense, Driver is a dream come true. He went on to call it, one of the best driving games on any system. Game Revolution's Ben Silverman was equally impressed, saying, Driver excels where other games have failed by striking a perfect balance between action and realism. Car handling is a wonderful mixture of true physics and arcade functionality. Not as nitpicky and sim-oriented as Gran Turismo nor as ridiculously implausible as SF Rush. Driving follows the easy to learn, hard to master formula. Rarely does a game captivate the stoic and hypercritical game revolution office, but Driver has done just that. GameSpot's Ryan McDonald was not as enthusiastic, saying Driver is a game that might be mediocre in its presentation but more than makes up for it in its gameplay and concept. IGN's Mike Morrissey praised the quality of the PC port and said, Though the PC version of Driver is a fairly straight port from the PlayStation title released in July, graphic improvements are apparent, especially at resolutions of 800x600 and over with the details cranked. Though this requires a fairly fast computer, the effect is worth it. Smooth frame rates reveal nice textures for the buildings and surroundings, translucent water in areas of Miami, and of course, lens flare. GameSpot's Eric Wolpaw was somewhat disappointed with the port, but this was negated because the original game was so strong. Like many console-to-PC ports, Driver suffers from being translated verbatim and taking little advantage of the more powerful PC platform. However, Driver's core game design is so strikingly original and fun that it can be enjoyed without embellishment. They concluded that, "...it is addictive, intuitive, and fun, which are qualities sometimes overlooked in the industry's myopic pursuit of purely technical innovation." With Driver, Reflections has produced the definitive recreation of the classic urban car chase movie and has quite possibly introduced a new genre of driving game. IGN's Craig Harris praised the Game Boy Advance port's top-down view and the controls and concluded, I'm actually quite surprised at how well Driver turned out for the Game Boy Color. I was expecting a point A to B game like Grand Theft Auto and got a whole lot more. The missions have different elements to give the basic formula a bit more variety. It's missing a few details from the PlayStation version, but for what Crawfish had to work with hardware-wise, the development team did a great job. GameSpot's Frank Provo was critical of the sound, but aside from that, he said, Driver is smoothness personified. Driving around is fun and exciting, the levels are varied, and the side games really do improve your skill within the main game. Even without a battery save and a two-player feature, there's really nothing major to complain about. At the 1999 E3 Game Critics Awards, Driver won Best Racing Game, and in 2002 it was ranked number 12 on IGN's list of the Top 25 PlayStation Games. <laughs>